All right, I think I'm joined with my next guest, uh, Miss G. Pretty. Why right, right now? How's it? Hello, hello, hello. How you doing, Kenny? I'm good. Thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Excuse my voice. I've been doing a little too much. <laughs> you, you're good. You sound just fine. You sound wonderful. You sound wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Did you enjoy your birthday? Yes. Yes, I did. Appreciate the love. That's wonderful. Um, That's wonderful. Given the circumstances that we are all in, I'm just fortunate to be alive, and making it through another year, and uh, still do the things that I love to do. You know, some things. I know that. So, I know that. No, no, no complaints on my part. And um, I got my job back about a month ago, so I'm... Yay! Yeah! Yeah. Hey, look at God. Yeah. A mysterious race, you know, just... Uh, so I'm thankful. Very, very thankful. So I don't think you and I have each other, like, in person. But I've seen you before. I seen you at a uh, um, uh, well, PYT Spotlight Show. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw you. I'm friends with Anonymous Rose. She's a fellow local artist. Shout out to her. She's awesome. Shout out to other people. Uh, and then. Yes. Shout out to the ladies at PYT. They gave me my first uh, performance of the city. Shout out to them queens. I love y'all. Much love. And um, my favorite song of that set was Classy Lady. Um, <laughs> now, that, that, that's an anthem. That's an anthem right there for the ladies. Uh, I played, yes, it is. So I, I played that song a little bit earlier. Good vibes and everything. Um, so how did you, Miss G, Pretty, how did you get into doing music? How did it start off for you? Okay, well, um, I always love music. Um, I'm a musical person. I come from a musical family back up in church, uh, Pentecostal and Baptist. So sung in a choir, so play piano, guitar. So I uh, come from a family. Um, I started writing poetry in my book at a very young age. And then music behind it. In my teenage, um, uh, in the projects of Iroquois, I wrote my first rap, and I also did my first freestyle there, and um, it brought a whole lot of attention. Went from there. It went from there. So, who do you consider like some of your um, musical influences? Those that inspire you. It could be artists or maybe local artists who inspired you as far as getting things going with your music? Uh, I'm, a Shaka Khan. I'm a huge fan of Shaka Khan, um, especially um, who she is behind her music. You know what I'm saying? She stands for empowerment, uh, the movement for the people, for the black people, the freedom the, uh, to speak. You used to be with Black Panthers, and then, of course, her music, she was outside the box, and I love her, and uh, I'm like that, too, because I think just because you're born and raised in the hood, that you got to do this hardcore rap and all this and that. Um, I love Chaka Khan, the funk. I love Tina Turner, rock and roll. I even love country music. I grew up in country at a very young age because it's storytelling. If you really, really listen to some country music, they tell stories. Like us, it's just a different atmosphere. You know, so I love all types of music. And uh, some of my independent local artists, um, I love Sasha Renee. Uh, yes. she, she, I, I know, Sasha Renee, especially doing the Louisville vibe. That's why I got start my foundation. She showed lots of love. And it's hard being a female MC in this game because they expect so much and the expectation of every female MC got to twerk, got to be half naked, or got to do this. I love her standard because bars, she can go bar for bar. So I love that about 
her. I love the fact that she's not um, selfish to the point that she doesn't mind giving the spotlight to someone else, you know? Mm-hmm. And uh, I look up to a lot of lyrics, uh, Jordan Jetson, uh, Baron Lee, you know, uh, Mark, a Faith, all my 502, you know, that's my list. I love my city, and I love what we're doing because, especially Jack Harlow, shout out to Jack Harlow. He's yes. doing some things, letting them know. We're not getting barefooted around, and, you know, we got talent, too, so we can keep up. Yeah, Jack, yeah. Jack, Jack Harlow's putting on right now um, what's the success of what's possible. And he just released a remix with some heavy hitters. Oh. Boy Lanes. Heavy hitters on that man. Heavy hitters. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a, a Kentucky hip hop artist on the same track with Toy Lane, The Baby, and Lil Wayne. Like. Icon, Lil Wayne. <laughs> yeah. And he held his own. And he held yes, his he own. Yes, he did. Joint. So, you know, Jack. Continue to make us proud, man. We see you. We see you, bro. Yes, we do. Uh, yes, we do. L- Louisville, in particular, they got a talented um, music scene. And that's just, you know, more artists definitely going to start getting themselves out there. I feel like Sasha May's up next. Given the, I know she is. She, she, I know she got bars, and then she just goes hard. Her performance, her... Um, it's just everything, how she plates the business of it. You know, people just think having a mic and spit in. No, there's really, really work that you have to put into this. You have to reinvest in your craft and work hard at your craft. Yeah, absolutely. So, so true. Um, I want to talk about one of your, 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 your songs. Um, I want to talk about this classy lady joint. I really enjoy it. Like definitely a an anthem for the ladies out there. Nice vibe to it and everything. Uh and I saw that perform at you know, at Cosmic Charlie's. That was less than a year ago. Of course Cosmic Charlie's shut down recently. My heart goes out oh. to them. Um thoughts and prayers go out to them and then to the music yeah. scene for sure. Um what was it like recording that song? Was it like, you know, getting the response from artists, from from listeners that hears that song. What was that like recording that song? I'm gonna tell you exactly what it was. Okay, when I wrote "Classy Lady" in uh, my minivan, and uh, the beat was made by Corey Davis. Shout out to Corey Davis. Um, we was going to do a label, and I was going to be first lady. A whole lot of things happened, so shout out to Corey Davis and his uh. Miss Crystal, who is the vocals, made the beat, and he made the hook. And um, it's a funny story because I was a GM then, and I was just got out of work, mm-hmm. and I had to go straight to the studio. I was losing my voice. I had a fever of 101, I think like 101, 102, and it was beautiful. And I had a couple more minutes on there, so I had to quickly throw in something at the end, like if you hear my spoken word at the end, I had to hurry up and do it, put some space in there, and um, I really enjoy it because, like I said, being a female MC, I have to toot my own horn, but I am a beautiful woman, and um, I don't knock nobody's lane of them twerking or whatever they have to do, shout out to all my twerkers. My ladies, MCs, is doing what they got to do because I still love Megan. If I knew how to twerk, maybe I would. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Also, because, um, don't get me wrong, before there was a social media, I think God, there was no social media was, you know, in my prime doing my thing because there's levels to becoming a classy lady. And sometimes it's not what you do, it's how you do it. But my uh, the take on that is you don't have to be halfway naked. And I feel like my gift will make room for me. And if I'm uncomfortable, not that I'm uncomfortable with my body, I love my body, but if I feel like my bars and my gift can carry that weight, 
then I don't need to take my clothes off. It's not what you do sometimes, it's how you do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to empower my women, especially the women in the game. MCs get a whole lot of, they think you're a beautiful woman or something like this. You either got to be a girl who's trying to get out to you, the man for money, and that. It stands for, if you hear in the beginning of the song, holding it down, taking care of families, you know, having your own, uh, standing on your own two feet, having your own family prospering in your own, with your clothes on. Because me being in my now, getting a evolving and maturing, it's like, okay, I don't have to do that. I don't want to do that. And if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. It's class, you know. You could, I could be fully dressed and let my bars do the music because you around my right. I'm an '80s baby. Yeah, '84. Yeah, and you are. Yeah, 1984. I'm, I turned 36. I know. I know that's right. And then the female MC that I grew up with, there was none of that, and they still carried the weight. Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. MC Light. Mm -hmm. Only love, salt and pepper, and even though salt and pepper had a what a man, what a man, you know, it was sultry and sexy, and yeah, whoop, but it was, they didn't have to have, you know, half naked, and I don't want to be a sex symbol. Right. I don't want you to look at me and visualize and sex with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't want to be a sex symbol. I want to be a statement of empowerment, of power, like, um, like I was saying, just classy with it, like, I took adequate class, too, yeah. and, you know what I'm saying, it's all about having your own, standing on your own, reaching out and empowering other women, that's what a classy lady does, that's what a queen does, you know, she takes care of her people, she loves her people. And I feel like enough women, we tear each other down already. I'm so confident. I don't mind giving a compliment. You know, and I truly mean it. Like, woman, you are beautiful. You're a woman, you are beautiful. And I think women need to hear that. And they need to be coming from a genuine person. Because I'm going to tell you like this, Kenny, and I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. When I'm on the mic, no one could touch me. No one's going to be able to compare to me. But yet, at the same time, I'm still humble enough to give props and give credit where credit is due. The confidence I have in myself. Yeah. Very, very true. Totally understand where you're coming from. Um, me being a man, a black man, you know, being raised by my mom. I'm like the three kids. Two uh, sisters, they they lovely, they beautiful, they stand up for themselves, they embrace who they are, and um, I like to think I was raised right how to treat a woman. Um, I'm right. I've, you know, for for woman to to embrace the way you know artists like yourself, I I I give you props for that. Um, I give props to Rap City. I give props to yes. uh, to Erica. Or Jill Scott. Yeah, Lauren Hill, all of them, baby. You know, <laughs> people still listen to Miss Education of Lauren Hill to this day. That just tells you music is timeless like that. So I love Classy Lady. I love Grind. I love the music that you've already done. And I look forward to hearing more music from you in the future. And, you know, hopefully when this pair, these quarantine times are over and we really get the legit okay for these shows to be running again. And I, I look forward to seeing more from Miss Pretty down the road. I really like what I see from you. Oh, thank you, baby. I appreciate that. I'm working on um, my EP now. Mm -hmm. I got a um, new single with Sasha Renee, which will be my very first uh, feature. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Sasha. The beat made by uh, Young and it's called Pay the Play. And that's going to be an anthem because, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> it's going to be nice. So, yes, I'm working on new music and beat. I also dropped some more fear. 
and uh, Raw Beauty. And um, you can look at them on SoundCloud or Audio Mac, Slow Grind, Classy Lady on all platforms. I just recently found out Classy Lady and Slow Grind is on um, TikTok. And Slow Grind, I made, even though I'm a classy lady, if you listen to the lyrics, it says classy lady in the street, and I sheep this on fire. Like, I don't have to expose what I do behind closed doors. All right. Facts. Just know I know what I'm doing when them doors is closed. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Um, before, before I let you go, uh, Miss G, pretty, why don't you go ahead promote your social media links on where can people get in touch with you with Twitter or Instagram, Facebook or whatever social media links. Go ahead and promote your links. Oh, thank you. I'm getting everything started. Really. I'm a one woman team right now working and building a team at the same time, but you can find me on Instagram with the eye on Facebook. It's gloriously spoken. Um, also, I have a page on Facebook, Miss G Pretty with the I. I'm on all digital platforms. Uh, today, I'll Apple, Spotify, iTunes, you know, things like that. SoundCloud, Audio Mac. I'm getting business cards together as we speak. I'm learning to do this Twitter thing, and I'm building my website so I can reach more people and get out there. So. Check out Miss G Pretty doing awesome things. Look out for that new single with Sasha Renee. I can already tell that's gonna have some flavor vibes. I'm still listening. Oh my goodness! The flavor album, such incredible, uh, from Sasha and Wop. So that's I, I already know. She, she with it and you coming with it. So that's oh she came with the two babies. Yeah. So see, I'm not one of them type of females that ain't gonna do a feature because I feel like you can burn me out. <laughs> I'm one of them females that are better. I don't want you on there anyway. Hey. I'm one of them type. Yeah, I I, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Great chatting with you, Miss G, and uh, continue to be um, do you. Be safe out there, and uh, hopefully we'll see each other again soon. Thanks for your time.